connection, it's never going to be broken. I mean, right to our graves. They'll be talking about this 100 years from now. Talk about it every day, somewhere. If I go to a foreign country, magic, magic, what magic? I mean, it's the same everywhere. You know you got this tight bond with this cat, and you don't have to see him for a year or two. Um, but you're always going to be linked to him. And the estate was on practicing, and we were waiting in the tunnel. We got there early. I wanted to definitely say hello to Larry, you know. When they came through, it was like nobody was saying nothing. I wanted to go toward him, like his guys, like made sure that he didn't say nothing. And then they kind of start snickering, like, Missing State, you in trouble. We're going to kill you guys tomorrow. I probably did snub him. It is Indiana State against Michigan State. I'm Bryant Dumble, and the fans here are going bananas. I mean, let's face it, if, if Larry Bird were black and, and came from Chicago, it wouldn't have been as big a deal. They, they, were, they were polar opposites. One black, one white, one outgoing, one shy. That was the charm of the attraction. The Bird against Magic. All of the superlatives have been used, and believe me, all of them have been warranted. There'll be some important decisions made tonight before this sellout crowd of 15,000. We are getting set here for what promises to be one tremendous championship game for the National Intercollegiate Basketball title. I don't know what more you could ask. You know, we started this season, what, six months ago? If you'd have tabbed it right then on two of the storybook stories. Two of the storybook stories. The like in secrecy, contained within the most precious of things. One light, one dark, reflections of the self, broken now except within one's consciousness. The arcane task to build them up once more within the confines of the human soul, to stride inside the portal of the ancients and grasp eternity and its creations. Mother Goddess, mistress of the dream realm, beckon me forth to walk between your legs, but do not crush me as I make my final journey back inside the womb of infinity. Please, great architect of the universe, bestow on me your compass made of gold. Hold me steady as I draw my own circle of life and death and rebirth of my soul. At the front of the temple were two large bronze pillars that flanked the porch. The pillar on the left was named Boaz and the pillar on the right was named Joachim. The tops were decorated with lily flower petals and pomegranates. Pomegranates were a sign of prosperity and posterity because of their many seeds and were also found on the bottom hem of the clothing of the high priest. The story of light and darkness, duality, polarity, the cycle of energy. This NBA matchup was teaching the masses the basic principles of life via athletic theater. Being that Irvin Magic Johnson and Larry Joe Bird was perfectly scripted to a T to get the best energetic result for viewership. I will be exclusively using the four ciphers used to decode scripture and entertainment. The Francis Bacon and the Franck Baconist cipher with their respective reverses. Please refer back to my video breakdown of the Francis Bacon ciphers and the introductory decodes to the Magic vs. Bird storyline. <laughs> the other day. Then you, we both go on. You go to the Boston Celtics, which I don't know who did this. The basketball gods shine down on us. Basketball gods shine down on us. You end up with Boston. I end up in L.A. We went on to win many championships. And knowing you was on the West Coast, I was on the East Coast, uh, I was just dreaming about another chance. I, maybe I'd get to play against you. Yeah, well, you know what? The NCAA Finals created this rivalry that now fans could carry over to the NBA. And then we were able to meet a couple times in the Finals. It all began here in Salt Lake City, Utah on the night of March 26, 1979. It was the NCAA championship, Indiana State versus Michigan State, 
a game that still ranks as the highest rated college final ever on television. A game that's now remembered as a prologue to a rivalry that transformed a sport and intertwined two legacies. But on that night, March 26, 1979, the first time Magic Johnson and Larry Bird ever went head to head on a basketball court, they were simply two young men trying to win a very big ball game. Pater, which means father, the son, and mater, mother, the moon, okay, to create the union, the union of opposites, the synthesis, the chemical wedding as it is known. And we never tried to change each other. That's what made this relationship great. And that creates this synthesis, this union of opposites called the chemical wedding a lot of times in, in uh, alchemy, okay? And that is the generative principle. One of my pet peeves always is when people say, oh, Michael Jordan saved the NBA. Bullshit. Bullshit. Magic and Larry saved the NBA. That's who saved the NBA. Magic and Larry. Magic and Larry. Bird and Magic. To the millions who once watched them, now more than ever, they are inseparable. A pair of athletes thrown together by the cosmos to compete. A pair of men who discovered a bond in the midst of that competition. Decades removed from the height of their rivalry, their bond endures. Two impossibly different men with a connection only they can fully grasp. Picking up the ancient storyline where we left it last, it's time to come full circle with the NBA's first truly magical showcase of purple, gold, and green where they knew polarity sold tickets. Get a new guy on the team and he doesn't like the Celtics, you know? <laughs> he has a Lakers on, a purple and gold, and then there's the other guy has a green on, and it just goes on and on. Saves it for Magic Johnson and a brilliant play by Shane Corbin. Most all the banners hang for you, Boston God, and the rest of them hang from the phones. I think the last thing is Larry and I. That's it. Tonight, Larry and Magic do it one more time. The spectacle that was Larry and Irving. The showtime of spinning the league a complete 180, writing the reality for many sports fans. The final Magic vs. Bird matchup was February 15th, 1991. It was the only time where Larry Bird had a triple-double against Johnson. 11 points, 11 rebounds, and 11 assists. Larry Joe Bird's stats in his final regular season game versus Magic Johnson perfectly wraps up this story with confirmation from these final Gematria decodes. From their NCAA championship meeting to clashing against each other in their first NBA Finals Game 7 was 5 years and 77 days. 5 years and 77 days between Magic vs. Bird championship meetups equals 1,111 in the Frank Baconist cipher, as well as Sir Francis Bacon secretly edited the King James Version Bible, sports became religiously scripted in the 70s, and the cipher that decodes professional sports scripts. Hopefully now you see the magical wordplay ingrained into our reality. Join my Patreon today for only $5 to receive a monthly esoteric documentary on your favorite sports athletes and events. Real, raw, uncut, and uncensored without the limitations of YouTube. Join today to see the other side of the sports world.